Anthony is a first-time caller out of Connecticut. Anthony, welcome to the show. Oh, man, Jesse? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I got through? You got through. Oh, how's it going, sir? All oh, is well, you know, buddy. Thank you for calling. Uh, uh, thank you, yeah. Um, the reason I called because I'm so over the weekend, um, the priest at my church, he was talking to me um, how he had to see me in Mass because, uh, you know, I grew up Catholic. Yes. So he had to see me in Mass in a while, and then um, he asked me how come. Uh, he's like, basically, he said, if I'm going to another Catholic church, it's fine. But um, I told him that, you know, my wife and I, we haven't been going to Mass because um, he basically, he told me, you know, that, uh, you know, skipping Mass is a mortal sin. And, you know, I, I <laughs> like, every, yeah, everything that was taught in the Catholic Church, I pretty much just, like, ran with it without um, seeing it for myself. Yes. And then, um, you know, after, like, waking up and forgiving my mom and everything, and then, like, a lot of stuff was being revealed to me, and I realized, you know, like, I, you know, skipping Mass is not a mortal sin. And, then, and I was explaining this stuff to him, and then he, um, he was telling me how walking away from the Church is walking away from Christ and, how God said which he'll be there for us Eucharistically or something like that. And I, I didn't even know what the Eucharist was or what it means. And, and I told him, you know, all that stuff sounds physical. And then it, it just, for, for like hours, he just sending me Bible verses after Bible verses. <laughs> and then it dawned on me, and like this whole time, I thought he was like a, like a friend. Because my wife and I, we went to him for counseling a couple of times. And, and I realized he, he was just a Bible thumper. The whole time, I, I never realized it was just a Bible thumper. It was just, you know, just verses after verses about, you know, walking away from the church is walking away from Christ, which doesn't make sense to me. And I told him the kingdom of heaven is within. And yeah. he's like, you know, I can't save myself. And I, I'm well aware of that, but I need God every day. And, and then, you know, I stick with the silent prayer every morning, every night. But he, he just, he completely, like, at least to me, he lost it. <laughs> I don't want to discredit the man, but it was like, I didn't, I, I didn't do with any of the stuff that he said. And he's telling me verses to read, and I looked them up. Uh, you know, it just went in like one end out the other and make any sense to me. I was like, I'm, I'm going to just stick with the silent prayer, right? Like, and uh, like, like God will be done. Yeah. And what's your question for me, Anthony? Yeah, like what um like what, what is this whole Eucharist thing and like do you know what that is? No, I'm not. Yeah, uh, he's like, Excuse know, me, I'm not um uh, I'm not familiar that much with the Catholic church and how they deal. Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of yeah. weird, but I'm being told yeah, that now. it's a water, James. Yeah, if you, if you want water. Oh, if I want water. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but um, it seems like you understand. You know what's going on better than he does. Uh, why are you? Why do you have a priest? Well, no, because I, yeah, I, I grew up Catholic, and then uh, you know that's where I got married. I did the whole communion confirmation thing, and and then like everything he's teaching, like I, I just took it word for word, and and I realized all it did was just puff up my ego. Like I just had knowledge about God and thought I was better than everybody else. And, you know, the Catholic faith was the best faith. You know, I, I was I was in my own world, and I realized, like, none of that stuff mattered, and I was just lying to myself, and it was just my ego taking over. Yeah. And, and you come out the body of Christ and then the blood of Christ, and I don't even believe, like, the bread was taken every Sunday was actually the body of Christ, and going to confession, you got to go in the booth and tell this guy everything you did. And it, 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 it was a whole mess, man. I oh, they now. still do that? They still go in a booth and talk to a guy behind a closed door and don't know who it is? Yeah. Are you doing that too? No, no, no I stopped that. Uh, -uh. your wife is no, still doing that? No, I, I, I pushed the religion down on her too. I, I was, I, I was bait. I was doing it all wrong, Jesse. <laughs> I was doing it all wrong. Yeah. Well, I don't, I, I don't understand all the stuff they do at the Catholic Church. I remember mm -hmm. when I moved to L.A. Uh, some of my cousins were uh, going to a Catholic school and they had some type of event, and I went. And it was weird when I walked into that church and it's all these statues and all that stuff. It kind of made me nervous. So I never went back. I don't really understand it. But you're right. The kingdom of heaven is within you. God is with you. Christ is with you. The Holy Spirit is with you. And you don't need to go through all those rituals that the, uh, the preachers are trying to teach you to do now. I wouldn't do it. And I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. Like, because I, I told him, um, after I, when I started doing the silent prayer every morning, every night, like I had more peace doing that than than the times I was going to communion and going to confession every month and then yeah. taking the body of Christ and you know praying out loud. I had all kinds of like rosaries, Jesus crosses, and pictures of saints all over the house. <laughs> I took them all down. <laughs> I'm I, glad, I, I man. Them, I had more faith in those things than I did in God Himself, and I, and I realized like it, it, all that was exterior and just physical. It, it didn't make any sense.
I had to see it for myself. And I know he doesn't like it, but he's like, you know, when I come back to the Catholic Church, the first thing I should do is go to confession. And, and I just busted out laughing. <laughs> Would you feel uh, guilty? This, this, Would you feel guilty if you didn't go to that church? No, I'm not. I, I, my mind is made up. I'm not going back there. Oh, all right. I, find, I thought God was in the church. He's not in there. I was, like, <laughs> I was doing it for years. And then um, every time my wife and I went there for counseling, because, you know, we had, like, issues and stuff, all he did was just bust out Bible verses. Like, this, this, is not what I was, this is not what I was looking for. Okay? Yeah. How are you and your wife yeah. doing now? Uh, we're, getting, uh, we're getting better. She just recently um, forgave her mother. Because, um, so, yeah, I don't know if you remember, I spoke to you before. So, like, my wife is older than me. And then, uh, so she, she yeah. you know, things in her head. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like, Man, I just, how much older <laughs> is she? <laughs> uh, four years. Wow. You yeah. married your mother. Yes, sir, I did. That took me a while to realize, too. Do you have kids? No, we don't got kids yet. Oh, okay. And so yeah, she, but like, um, she's working on herself now, trying to overcome all that? Yeah. Oh, good, and man. And I told her to watch out for her mom so she don't, so her mom doesn't draw her back in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, when, when I first met her, she was like heat incarnate, so I was very attracted to her spirit, but then I realized, like, I didn't see all the hell that was within her. Right. I kind of got a glimpse of it, but I'm like, I, I like it. <laughs> and then uh, after waking up, I realized, yo, this is not, it's not, it's not supposed to be like this. And then I saw, like, how she was suffering. See, I kept, you know, I was throwing her your videos at her and then told her about the silent prayer. But she recently forgave. She's doing the silent prayer. She's keeping up with it. She missed it one time, and then, like, the whole day started messing up. And then she realized how, and I told her how, you know, Jesus Christ said we're supposed to um, pray without ceasing. So she's getting a better understanding of that. Right on. And then, uh, and I told her, you know, our marriage is not doing the fail just because, um, you know, we did it wrong. Like, God, understand we... We're both angry in the fallen state. Yeah, you know, that's right. You know, God can make things right. So as long as right we forgive and, you know, continue to let God guide us. And, you know, and you follow the natural order, you know, God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, woman over two, all things would be well. Anthony, I appreciate your call. Yeah. And be patient, man. Things will work out very well. Yeah. You're right about that. Yeah. Thank you for your call, man. Uh, thank you, Jesse. I appreciate all you do. I, I binge watch your videos, on, like, every week. I got, like, a whole <laughs> playlist. Right on. I appreciate that. And, and then tell Joel and James, I say what's up, and, and everybody else in the staff and Nick. Absolutely. Thank uh, you, man. All right. Thank you, Jesse. All right. Amazing. Absolutely amazing.